Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more New World. So today we are down here at Cultless Keys, I guess it's called. And uh, I thought, yeah, this would be a good one to start uh, some uh, questing at. Just because we haven't really done questing here before. Uh, we've been here for a couple of quests, but not like actual questing uh, through all the quests here. So um, I want to do that. I thought it'd just be fun. So let's check out what we got going on here. Ever since Shattered Mountain erupted, it feels like the corrupted are breathing down our necks. Even Cutlass Keys has been blighted by their presence. Uh, what have they done? Tremors have been originating from a corrupted mining camp in ancient's past. We fear it's more than just natural mind disturbances as it has been getting steadily worse. What do you need me to do? The corrupted are up to something. There's a new purpose to their actions. We need to put a stop to their explosions before the hillside comes down around our ears. Okay. This is the next one here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's up. No one is going to recognize this as a pirate settlement without any plunder. Gold silks overflowing chests of bursting with pure loin merchandise. Uh, you don't have any treasure? Question mark. Oh, we do. But it's high time we collected more. Uh, speaking of collecting, uh, you may have be familiar with William Heron. He came through here and spent time uh, at the Spitta Ruins, uh, though he left and disappointed uh, disappointed with his finds. Oh, okay, disappointed. Oh, Mr. Heron was looking for something specific. I'm not so picky. Damaged or intact, all the relics are welcome. Go to the ruins and see what you can find. Okay, do you expect anything? Oh, if we're lucky, you'll find more than just artifacts. Mr. Heron might have left notes we could use to search for more profitable artifacts in the future. Okay. And then there's more in here still. There's one over here. Oh, by the way, I did a town invasion in this town, in fact, but it lasted like four minutes, so... Um, I got a bit of EXP. I think I got a container, actually. This was in it. So, yeah, there you go. Um, it was very short-lived because of, um, it, 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 like, I must have joined it on the tail end of it. So, uh, but yeah, it was kind of cool. So, we'll, we'll do one of those eventually. A drink to keep the horrors of the corrupted at bay or a hearty meal to reassure yourself you aren't lost. What would you recommend? Uh, normally, I'd tell you to try the cutlass quiche. <laughs> but you can <laughs> quiche keys, you know, but you can believe it. Uh, there are some around here who don't like my cooking, my cooking. Normally, I would shrug it off, but not this time. Why not? Because those tasteless things stole my pots and pans. Uh, my father gave me that set and it was gifted to him by his father. Last I saw the thieves were headed to Flatfish Fishery. Well, let's kick their asses. Can't steal a man's pots. I, I understand women, weapons, money, gold, daughters, but a man's pots is drawing the line. Okay, so we're going to go, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go this way here for this quest here. Beautiful. <laughs> I like being silly. You gotta say it in a populated area, not when you, you know, there's a guy. Look at that. So there's a guy there. Is that an NPC or a player? I wonder. Oh, it's a player fishing. Yeah. It's just so cool that I could see them so far away. I like that in the video games. Like, this game does give you that big MMO feeling, which I like. Um, I, I hope when it gets bigger and better and things like that, they're able to find ways to get more players onto it and not have just 2,500. Like, you know, oh, there's a big update, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to 3,000, 3,500, things like that. Obviously, like, they'd have to slow it down a bit in the intro of things, but I think this world could handle more players if they could expand it in certain ways. So let's keep going. I never thought I'd say this, but it's just too quiet around here, you know? It reminds me of my time in Restless Shore when I befriended an alligator. Uh, here, though, I feel so alone. Why would you say that? Oh, sure. There's the sound of nature all around us, but I long for something more like the sound of my wife's voice. 
Traveling through swamps keeps me away from home more often than I would have liked. I find I miss her. She's she isn't at home. Man, when last we spoke, Jocelyn was furious about my job taking me away from her so often. Said if she wanted to be alone, she would have stayed that way. She went off in a huff to Castaway Colony. Oh damn. I haven't seen her since. Okay. Well, that's not nice to him. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, I wouldn't mind grabbing, because, like, you know, we're all scattered all over the place, but I might as well grab this quest over here. Plus, it's kind of getting more in the deeper area. So let's go over here. See what we got here. Probably sneak up here, a little shortcut. I'm just trying to get to the other road here, to be fair, so. Who's been a naughty pussy cat? Now keep in mind this is a lower level zone, so like I think quest wise we'll probably get good EXP, but also, uh, you know, like the you know some of the loot and stuff's not gonna be as amazing. That's I think kind of where I'm getting at. Um, yeah, because all the X quests are pretty good usually. It's like two, you know, almost three thousand, which is not bad. And you know, being easier, you should be able to run them a little faster too, right? So, so I'm just. Surfing around being silly here. Let's go up here. Welcome to Global. Okay. Oh, that's swampy. Always winning the annual Cutlass Keys cook-off. It is a tragedy to those of us with refined tastes. He always wins? He does. It is most unfair. In the past, Swampy didn't always win the cooking competition. Junior used to win every year. She was known for her superb cookies, thanks to an old family recipe. We'd bake them together. Well, that's kind of sweet. What happened? Junior became corrupted and left me. <laughs> I miss her. But I miss her baking more. Those cookies were something else. You know, if you bring back Junior's cookie recipe, I can finally put Swampy in his place. Well, let's do it. Okay. That's definitely going to go in there. Animal gather samples, blah, blah, blah. It's funny how it has the thing there, but that's all good. Okay, so we need to do some quests here. I'm guessing we should start with these guys. There's more quests in the area, but... You have to remember, you can only, I guess, show five of them, so. We'll see what we can come up with, my friends. You can even see alligators on my thing, and of course the bigger things. That's cool now. I think alligators were the bigger ones. Okay. Oh, wait. Apparently we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to number three first, I guess, but. Or is there more down that way? No, I'd say just go for three first and then work your way to two. So, collect artifacts, collect artifacts. Oh, okay. A lot of artifacts. So, three, is it in other places too, or no? Oh, here you go. Get us a, a head start. 
Let's just miss, shall we? That one died. Okay. Interesting. Should be faster at that stuff. the guy decided to go down okay we just need to collect uh from archers here one more oh, there you go let's jump up there and get him miss me Go. Okay, that one's done. So let's work up to number two, which is this way. Okay. That was a. Uh... I thought that was that first uh, NPC. I was like, holy crap, it's kind of scary. Let's go way over here. Oh, here you go. Done? Yeah, this is already done, I guess. Okay, and then number one up here. There's some more here. They're still working towards getting that 100 mining, which is getting really close. Yeah, look at how close it is. Go. Now we're just a quarter of a level left. Yeah, okay, we're going to go this way. We find what we need here. Number one, travel to, okay, for, oh, the recipe one, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, we're in the right area, right? Oh yeah, no, it looks like this is the right area. Oh, here we go. Lit up. Mind this almost soon. We're almost there. Oh, we're not getting regular rocks. It's the slow method. saltpeter or whatever sometimes it's harder to find because it might be sunken in but you see usually a little white area on here there might not be any in this one it looks like so yeah it's a saltpeter free cave i guess <laughs> I guess there's other? No, that still says it's in this area. It's a pretty cool spot, but I don't think this is really where we want to be. Okay, so let's go back. So is it like... Oh, wait. Oh, it shows it's all the way down. Oh, wait, it's connected? Is this from their labors? I guess you're not one of the ones I needed, though. Oh, here you go. This one's better. This is a smuggler. So that finishes this one. That means this one's useless. Him. Okay, yeah. So we need to go back and look for those. Yeah, oh yeah, now there's nothing here anymore. Okay, so we have to go back. Oops. Oh, here you go. that chest didn't give us what we wanted though oh here you go oh we're still going back to that cave we have an excuse to finally chop some star metal for fun there you go 100 mining Ooh, star metal oh, that makes me happy slower too we'll probably get some good uh mining exp though because like this is level 100 stuff right so yeah look at that pretty good beautiful let's see what we get in this one i'm interested in what you get you get exp 225 not a lot there i'm just interested in how much you get I think the idea can all add up, but like at the same time, when you craft too, you can get lots. Nice. 
Let's just get this one here. We'll go back and see if we can get what we need. So there's Lush Hills Laborers. Is there a guy that I passed that was in the grass? I don't know. This is the area it says it is, but I don't know. Unless somebody had actually cleared them out. And then, like, oh, here is one. We found one, so there's a campment here, too. This might have been cleared out by that other guy, though. Okay, well, at least we know what we're looking for here. So we can just kill everything for fun then. Oh, here's one anyways. Will you drop for us? Thank you. Okay, there we go. Well, that worked out for us. Okay, so let me head back to town here, I guess. There's a four and five here, but I mean, might as well jump over here at least. I didn't set the town as my inn as well, so I derped up. I'm just thinking of like just jumping off the side, really. some four anyways. Okay, let me head to the NPC. There you go. Oh, just look at those ingredients. I forgot the delicate sweetness of those honey-soaked figs. Oh, I can taste victory already. They certainly smell delicious. That they do. With this recipe as a base, I shall create so many delicious dishes. And the memory of Junior's fine baking skills will live on. Thank you for your aid. Not a problem. Okay. We'll work our way over here. settlement to do here. Now I realized that whole time we were out there we didn't see a single page. I guess some zones just don't have a lot of pages. Thank you for silencing the hillside. Now we can sleep at night. We'll have to keep a closer eye on the corrupted miners. Is that uh, is there a new change? Yes. It's strange. They used to have less initiative. Something drives them and we'll all be losing sleep until we discover what it is. Oh, apparently we have a second quest here. A solid night's sleep is one thing. I'm worried that the strange interest uh, in interest the corrupted are showing is spreading. They're getting smarter? Yes, and it reminds me. Centuries ago, during the construction of the original Cutlass Keys, 
uh, fort a wave. The corrupted invaded, forcing us to abandon the site. We moved the fort to a new location, but it lacks something uh, the old fort had. What's missing? Better plans. If someone around here stopped playing pirate long enough, so think strategy, we'd have them back already. I need you to travel to Rusty Spoon Camp and recover the original fort's building plans. Okay. And then we got another one over here. Oops. Oh, excellent work! It does my heart good to see so much, uh, to see such treasures. Take this ring as a token of thanks. Uh, you're on your way of becoming a true pirate. I am. I honor anyone. As long as you're in Cutlass Keys. I'm sure you notice we're riddled with pirates. So many of our old crewmates became lost. That we are always searching for new allies. Sounds like a part two or there. No, no. Okay, so that's good for now. And then I wanted to check something. I, I'm sure this is like very low value, but I just want to see what star metal was like on the thing, anyways. Do, 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 do. Sell. So you can just do this. This is sell order. Oh, it doesn't have much value at all, actually. Oddly enough. Iron ore probably has more cell value, weirdly enough. Yeah, what the heck? There you go. This thing gives you an idea anyways. I think it's still worth something, right? But I was just kind of curious. Okay, so let's see. Where are we going to go now? We got quests here, quests there. We got quests everywhere, obviously. Um, Let's... I don't know. I say let's just... I'll fall down this road and meet up there. Here it is, just down the road here. Have you noticed how all the animals that come to Eternum seem to go wild? Even those that had been tamed. I've been studying the animals in Cutlass Keys for quite a while now, and I think I know how to tame them again. Uh, how do you propose to do that? I have a way with animals. I can feel what they feel, know what they know. I can get into their heads and see the world through their eyes. But sometimes, I need more. I need parts of the animals to understand them. I think I see where this is going. Oh, yes, indeed. I would invite <laughs> you to join me in this enterprise. Oh, this is tier two I'd very campsite. much like to study this region's wildcats and alligators more closely. If you can bring me some scales and claws, that is. That's cute. I was wondering when we'd get that uh, worked on. Another quest over here somewhere. Hello again. Now I have it on good authority that there is a real pirate treasure nearby. And I know it's nearby because I've got this map. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> You know, I could use a partner to help me search. What do you say? What do you need? <laughs> the treasure. But really, I need help searching the after steps. The treasure is there, somewhere. Uh, I admit, I haven't been able to find it. But I have a feeling about you. Surely you'll be able to bring the treasure back. Uh, what do you know about the treasure? Ah. It was brought here by the pirate Thompson the Tireless. He was fond of taking cargo from rich merchant ships, and he was quite clever in hiding his treasure. Even his old crew couldn't find it without a map. Okay. Oh, there, there's a two right here. Doesn't really make you go far for this thing. Oh, here it is. Right here. Wow, 
that sucked. It's most of that. Okay. What the? <laughs> I don't know if people are fighting somewhere else. It sounds like I feel like I've aggroed somebody too, right? But I don't see anyone around, so. Here's another one up here. Oh, another one here. Awesome. That wasn't so hard at all. Is it? It's just a handful of doubloons. Where's the rest of the treasure? The, the notes that came with the map indicated there should be a chest filled with riches beyond our wildest dreams. Not some scraps of silver. That's all I could find. But, oh, oh no. Could it be that my old partner used his half of the map to find the treasure first? I bet he did. Damn him. I should have known he could have be trusted. And to think we were once friends. Oh my. Now we're enemies. Oh, enemies. I'm so mad. I can't believe Mr. Broadbin cheated me out of my half of the treasure. Our half. Oh, I should have seen it. That old sailor didn't just want to find pirate treasure. He wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going after him. No. Wait. I have a better idea. Would you search for him? You were so good tracking down the treasure from the map. If anyone can find him, you can. He couldn't have taken the treasure on his own. Who would have helped him? He was always admiring those pirates on the fringes of Cutlass Keys to the south and southwest. Maybe start looking in the condemned shallows. They might be able to give you clues to where he went or who helped him. Sounds good. We can do that. Accept. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Just thinking where I want to go. It's like so many places to go. I'm thinking what I'll do. Okay, there's a thing there. Let's go this way then, because there's a thing over here anyways. And then that way we can work our way up. Actually, maybe we'll just go up there and then cut it, because uh, the episode's actually kind of uh, yeah at its point here anyways. Uh, we'll run over here quickly anyways. That's a big gator. Oh, we need these guys apparently. Oh yeah, that's from the wild ones for the... I should have been paying attention. That was a worldwide kind of one. Yeah. 
Oh gosh, we're gonna get expired stuff, I guess, here. Oh! Darn it. He's a little too far, eh? What the? I was waiting to pull him in more and then it glitched out. And then wildcats, which won't be on the shore probably. They'll be wherever, but yeah, we saw them up here, wasn't it? Yeah. And basically, wherever you sell them, they'll go into that storage. So that's the fun part is, you know, when I sell things, it's just not random places over time. It's just like a little spammed. It's all right. Now, there's some invasions coming up, but not quite yet, I think. Like, I saw one in Everfall. These marks here give you the idea. Sign up for an invasion, eh? Oh. Oh, no. Corrupted versus... Oh, okay. What about my own people, to be fair? This is also 40 minutes, yeah. Let's look at this in a second here. Oh, this is the Marauders thing. We've been here before. We battle and stuff. We have an invisible wall here, I guess. Oh, here's a better spot, but yeah. So invisible wall all the way up here. Oh, look how far that invisible wall goes. Oh, so you just gotta arc it in the way that it goes up and down? <laughs> I don't know if those can be arced that way. That's what it is. The staff sound that is making weird sounds like that. Anyways, okay, so let's see here. If we are gonna do an evasion maybe next time. Or at least start with one. Let's do it with our people, I guess. At least we're helping our people, maybe. I don't know how that works, really, but yeah. There you go. So you sign up. So uh, November 8th, uh, which is, you know, today. Um, sign up. Yeah, these episodes are a bit behind. So wait, 10 players will be selected from the company. 40 players will randomly select at the time of the evasion. Be online. At 7.45, 40 players are normally selected. If you're not aligned, this time you will get spotted uh, on standby. Even if you're not selected by the time of the invasion, don't worry, you might have a chance to backfill your invasion if you stay online during the invasion. Okay. View my status. So uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem getting in there. So this is their 10 selected players, I'm guessing. And then this is the standbys. So. I don't have permission to manage it. Well, that's rude. 23 minutes. Yeah, this is kind of cool, though. Isn't that a cool system? So, yeah, we'll we'll join up into that and see how it goes. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.